Hello everybody, it's Max with Crypto Talk now. On today's Jasmine video, we're going to show you some footage from the recent Tokyo Teams 3 Web Summit. And on top of that, we're going to show you some previous footage from the last particular uh, conference that was also in Tokyo. But without further ado, we're going to jump into a few key things that I saw basically from not only the summit, but some new recent developments in regards to Jasmine Labs, the Super Wallet, and a few other key things. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so here's some recent pictures from the one and only Hara. And like you guys saw in uh, that little brief intro, you saw roughly about what three seconds like a teaser if you will when it came to actually seeing live footage from hara and that's a good thing you know let's face it we all want to see footage of him actually talking um not just like where a reel is going on and so on we want to see him talking uh even if it's just just in japanese like some people uh you know mentioned or posted before uh, preferably, yeah, it would be nice to see in English as well or hear it. But, you know, at least it was a teaser, kind of like a Hollywood production, giving us a little teaser. But I want to give a shout out, of course, to Yanislav. He is doing a great job of his community engagement. He's the guy that, of course, uh, put in that petition and sent that letter to Binance. So, really cool stuff from him once again. He, like he says, while we eagerly await official updates from JSM Management, here are some exclusive shots with Hara from the incredible Teams Web3 Summit. And on this, for a little bit, I'm going to come out of the frame because uh, we're going to be getting to some video coverage here in a bit. And I just want to be able to uh, draw the emphasis on some of the pictures and video. All right. So, here's Hara. And you know, this is, of course, him speaking at the Teams Web3 Summit. A little bit more. Like it says, uh, Toronto Mon Hills Forum. He's addressing quite a few people. Here's another shot of Hara. And then on top of that, I'm going to show you a little bit more. Like, here's a picture. Uh, this was actually posted yesterday. And, you know, just another shot of him, which is cool stuff. Here's a picture of, like, some of the conference-type things that they had. All right. Um, I like this part right here. It says, for instance, uh, Jasmine CFO, the team's Web3 Summit, bullish confirmation of a Jasmine coin wallet. The next step in the ecosystem leading up to the building of their own blockchain, democracy or I should say data and democracy is coming. And this was something that was part of his presentation. As you can see right here, you know, mentioned specifically this thing about Jasmine Club and Jasmine Pro. Um, Jasmine.us was talking about this. And basically, like I said uh, a couple days ago, we'll be talking about Jasmine Labs on Jasmine Spaces this Sunday. We'll tweet it out tomorrow, Friday. Um, should be a good discussion. So we're all looking forward to seeing more about that. At least I am. And if you happen to not be able to make it to the live, we can always watch uh, the replay of that. Now, I want to jump into a little bit more of what we have, obviously. And I also want to give um, Yanislav a shout out on this. So Jasmine Labs was recently made, right? And you can see some of the particular things that was posted on uh, who is... Um, but yeah, it was basically created a couple days ago. Like Yanislav has mentioned, the domain jasminelabs.com has officially been registered on May 17th. I haven't had a chance to, you know, jump in to see if there's anything on it. I'm going to wait a little bit before I do a proper video. Um, but, you know, I'm glad that he took the time to, you know, see if there was something going on with it. And there is. You know, I, too, cannot wait to see what's going to happen in regards to that launch. Now, a little bit more. Uh, this guy who I always refers to is, uh, you know, or, or I should say I refer to as uh, Hara's homeboy, may very well not even be his homeboy for all we know. Um, it says there are many visitors. We were waiting at the booth. This is one in which I feel as though, come on, man, um, Akira, you couldn't have like taken live footage of, for instance, Hara, even speaking in Japanese, but teach his own. At least it shows some footage from the event. Let's go ahead and play that. All right, yeah, just like eight seconds footage um, on top of that. 
This one's a little bit longer. And what I like about this one is this is from the previous event, right? Um, before they went to, for instance, Team Z Web3 Summit, right? So you'll remember that one particular uh, lady who was doing the presentation. She didn't officially work for Jasmine, um, but this at least shows you official footage uh, instead of pictures from that booth, if you remember that booth from last week. Here it is. って思ってる方も多いと思うんですけど、私もそうなんですけど、ジャスミンはですね、日本でできたプロジェクトで代表取締役のアンドさんはもともとソニーの社長さんだったんですね。バイオ立ち上げ、ソニー生命保険を設立
you know, you got to keep in mind, if you've been following, for instance, another project that we cover, which is XDC, it wasn't until the end of last year that you finally got the XDC community. And that really, really helped put a lot more eyeballs on XDC. Um, you got to keep in mind, a lot of times when people complain about certain prices, like, for instance, where Jasmine's at, you know, um, hovering anywhere from, you know, 0 0.0029 ish, all the way up to what we saw recently, uh, just barely touching, you know, 0 0.008. In that particular area, you know, we're going to get a support line again, as long as we don't have any FUD happen again, as far as, you know, Binance and so on. But the key thing is, once you get those support levels and whatnot, you know, for people to complain about sideways consolidation, at the end of the day, it helps strengthen the asset. So keep in mind, just like I was mentioning with XDC, you have that period of time where that consolidation or the building and the partnerships that are going on in the background, those are all really, really good things, especially when you see companies, whether it's Jasmine or XDC and so on, the key thing is the big players who built in a bear market. For instance, what happened in 2022. A little bit more in regards to this, as far as a picture, here's some of the original that was posted in Japanese. Now, the reason why I want to share this with you guys is because this particular person, we have given uh, him, her, I never got clarification on it, that's okay. Um, I'll just refer to this person as level eight, right? This was part of our deep dive last time. So this person always has... Uh, significant information to share in regards to Jasmine. So I want to jump into this and on each particular one we're going to get into the Japanese to English translation and you know at the end of the day it should give you a broad perspective of why this matters. So you know um, level 8 posted this on the 18th which was yesterday and states we've or we investigated each country's efforts policies and use cases related to trusted webs such as decentralized identities trust frameworks countries covered are the united states canada the european union the united kingdom india new zealand and singapore on this particular one it states ntt data survey of digital identity walls in target countries it's a huge amount but that's what it means to be posted today by understanding the technologies handled by the target country, we can refer to interoperability confirmation and use cases on the trusted web. The reason Jasmine finally announced the development of the wallet was waiting for such an announcement. So a lot of times, just because we don't see the news move, you also got to keep in mind there might be certain particular reasons for that. You know, here in the United States, we want news to be every single day. Let's be honest. But... At the same time, you know, there's also the language barrier. And on top of that, maybe they're waiting for the right time to do that. Was the right time to do that by presenting it to those people at the summit could very well be the case. Because why would Hara go through all the trouble of mentioning it specifically at the summit? And let's face it, hopefully after maybe, you know, the start of uh, next week, we get some more shared with the community. But we might not. All right. In regards to a little bit more of what we have, um, he posts, for instance, this thing about the super wall. And let's go ahead and talk about that for a moment. So this is something that everybody wants to find out more information about. Let's let's face it. I mean, um, it's not so much of the elephant in the room, but it's kind of like, you know, uh, getting teased about it in a presentation. You want more. Will we get more by next week? Very well possible. Now, this Jasmine super wall, like it says, will be handled worldwide. It says we can see their enthusiasm for development with reference to the regulations of each country, the cooperation of each international organization, and existing use cases. Various brands are rushing to develop it, but depending on the presence or absence of such know how, the results will be different. That, or I should say, it's not that its progress is slow, but nonetheless, this is what we got as far as the progress so far. So, you know, what exactly is the super wallet, right? And again, it, sometimes it feels like it's just a teaser in that regard. So I wanted to share some of this information with you guys. And, you know, sometimes it's not all the information that we're all hoping for and so on. But nonetheless, it is information. Um, and my thing is, you know, like it says right here, 
on Jasmine Pro to develop Jasmine Super Wallet, right? C DeFi Mix UI UX. Um, you know, we might see some very interesting things happening here soon. Uh, is it going to create another layer of utility for Jasmine? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we already seen multiple layers of utility, whether it comes to, you know, the PDL, the personal data lockers, or for instance, the DD coin, data democratization coin, right? They're particularly stable coins, so on. Um, with the path forward, and I highly recommend you guys watching the video on, um, for instance, data free flow with trust. All right. Last but not least, like we promised, here's the actual footage of Sato-san, who is part of Jasmine. So I don't know the exact time this was recorded, but nonetheless, it is an actual live video that was recorded at some particular point. And he gives a Jasmine uh, presentation. And on top of that, there is some Japanese to English subtitles, which is really cool. Here we go.皆さんこんにちは。初めまして。私はジャスミンの佐藤和正と申します。他の日本で最初に導入する時のプロダクツのマーケティングの責任者をやっておりました。あとですね、ネットワークのビジネスにも相当関与させていただくことができまして、日本では結構有名なんですけれども、ソネット、プララというようなビジネスをやった後ですね、日
というところでの引き合いもございます、えー、このようなことを踏まえてですねこれから6ヶ月ぐらいの間にですねいくつかの、えー、皆さんの目の前にですねいくつかの、えー、商品サービスを、えー、ご提供できるような今準備をしておりますのでぜひご期待ください本日はどうもありがとうございました Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of info in regards to what happened at the recent、uh, Teams Web3 Summit in Tokyo. If you hold Jasmine and you're looking forward to some of the things to come, let us know why in the comments. And thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you're all having a blessed day, blessed weekend. We'll see you on the next one.